The Sharpe Ratio is a measure of risk-adjusted return. To find a Sharpe Ratio for an investment, you need to find the difference between the expected return and the risk-free rate, and divide by the standard deviation. The risk-free rate is usually taken to be the return on a three-month U.S. Treasury bill. As an example, take this portfolio with expected return 8% and standard deviation 5%, while the risk-free rate is 1%. The difference between the expected return and the risk-free rate is 8 minus 1, and we divide by the standard deviation 5 to get 1.4 as the Sharpe ratio. Suppose now that we are thinking of adding a new asset to our portfolio, but we want to be sure it will improve the portfolio's expected risk-adjusted return. Any asset with a Sharpe ratio above 1.4 would definitely do that. Here, the Sharpe ratio of the new asset is the difference between the expected return and the risk-free rate, 11 minus 1, divided by the standard deviation 9 to get 1.1 as the Sharpe ratio. Although this is a worse risk-adjusted return than in our current portfolio, it's still possible that this new asset will improve the portfolio through diversification. To check, we use this formula here, which says that the Sharpe ratio of the new asset must exceed the Sharpe ratio of the current portfolio multiplied by the correlation between the portfolio and the new asset. For example, if our new asset moves somewhat differently from our current portfolio so that the correlation between them is only 0.5, then this new asset will give a higher expected risk-adjusted return since 1.1 is more than 1.4 times 0.5.